Hello ladies and lads, this is Civic Dude, and we're looking at, what are we at, episode 19 in Surviving Minecraft. Guys, it has been so long since I have played vanilla. I've been doing so much, well, I say vanilla. It's been so long since I've been playing in my Surviving Minecraft world. Um, I've been playing mostly Feed the Beast or CobbleCon stuff, and so I am super excited to be back in Surviving Minecraft. And uh, really excited to be playing again, guys. It's been forever. Oh, no. This will never do. I wanted to start off with an, a quick enchant of this bow so we can get a new piercing flame. But uh, we don't have a pick with us to even break those blocks. So let's go get a pick real quick. And uh, we can kind of do some talking during this episode. Um, it's kind of... It's actually, it's actually a really weird episode to be doing talking because it's kind of a weird weather day or week in uh, in the part of the country that I'm in um, so my my sinuses are a little clogged so I, I apologize if I'm if I sound a little congested it's it's really not how I normally speak guys it's just the weather I promise so apologies up front if that is a problem and I'm trying to remember do I have a pick I think I have one around here somewhere yeah there we go that'll work so yeah, I want to start off this episode with a uh, quick enchant of this bow. Try and get Piercing Flame back, or close to it, and then we can work up from uh, from there. We might have to combine a couple of different bows that uh, have the necessary enchantments that we want uh, for Piercing Flame. But that's okay, we have, if you recall, 75 experience levels from defeating the dragon. The dragon of the lair from the end world, whatever you call it. Anyways, that was kind of silly. Sorry, guys. Anyways, um, boom. Wow, that's fast. That's what she said. Okay, so, enchantment time. We'll just do the first one. Ooh, infinity one. Oh, man. <laughs> that's perfect. I think this means I just need, yeah, I just need one arrow, and then I can always shoot. That is so cool. Let's go grab an arrow. I'm not even sure if I have any left after fighting the dragon. So, we may have to wait on that. And my speed ran out because I have no food. So, the next thing I wanted to do was, you can see, we have... We still have to walk around whenever we want to get to places. And I don't like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make a trip back to the end. We can do that right now, actually. We're going to make a trip back to the end real quick so that we can ooh, so that we can uh, just farm some ender pearls for a while. And I kind of showed you the way that I'm going to do it for the meantime um, in the last episode. It's really basic and really simple. There's nothing to it. Um, anything in there? Nothing of importance? Um, like I said, there's nothing to it really. It's just a matter of, oh wow, frame drop. So sorry if the, if the frames just dropped really bad, guys. Um, I haven't been playing in the nether for a while, and so apparently I have zero frames in the nether. And that's actually another thing to talk about. I don't know if it's the same with you guys, but ever since Minecraft 1.5, I have been getting the worst frame rates in the game. Since, I can't even remember the last time I got frame rates this bad. And, you know, maybe I need to run uh, Optifine and just really dial in what settings I want to use. That's the pick that I want. But, um, ooh, a good shovel, too. And a bow. We can use that to enchant again. And we'll take that. And that. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of this stuff here. Um, so I don't know what, what's going on with the frame rate, but it's just been terrible. Ever since Minecraft 1.5 came out. So we're going to have to figure out maybe something else to do, or, a, I don't know, a new setting to try or something. Because it's just not what I want it to be. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this extra garbage that we do not need. Um, man, you guys, I want to thank you for just sticking around in the last episode. Um, I was <laughs> I was really not playing my best apparently in the last episode. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, yeah, apparently I could not get off of this starting platform for the longest time. 
I just kept dying. Just kept dying to the dragon, and he would just knock me off of the platform. It was just terrible. So, we have some end stone now. I think, I can't remember, but we're going to have to make an ender chest, and I don't remember if it takes end stone or obsidian. I'm getting my Feed the Beast recipes mixed up with my vanilla recipes. And, okay, there we go. I was trying to find the, uh, the end, or the end, what do you call it? The, the little spawn thing. It's because we're going to use that for our, our Enderman farm. And, oh, those blocks are still there. So, let's see, last time there was a comment that it was really dark in the end, so we're going to turn it as bright as it'll go. Hopefully that'll work. This texture pack is really not the best for the end, because it's, uh, oh, nor is it good for the sound. Um, yeah, so the texture pack is not very good for being in the end. It's just too quiet. Or not too quiet, it's too dark of a texture. But, uh, Hopefully, hopefully turning up the brightness will help with that a little bit. So, anyways, we're turning the sound down right now because I do not want the Enderman wrecking, destroying the sound. And I actually don't have the right sword for this job. I've got a uh, a knockback two sword. That's not really the sword that I want to use for this task. Um, you can see the Enderman; they just they just fly, just knock them back forever. That's not really what I'm trying to accomplish. I just want to kill them. Knockback is really helpful for uh, fighting creepers. Really helpful. Oh, man. Second, or not second. Wonderful side effect of getting pearls is we get more levels. So that's really cool. I am going to set up a an Enderman farm here in the end. Um, my buddy Slipgator, he's got a pretty good farm set up. Um, it that I might I might borrow from and, and use that that uh, design. He's uh, basically got all the Enderman funneled into one chute. They fall down and you know they come down to with uh, one punch, well one punch worth of health left. I'm gonna try and say that three times fast. And you know normally I would do something like I mean I've seen Doc M's version of it and I'm sure he got that from somebody else, but. That takes a long time to do, and Slip's, Slip's version might take a long time to do also, but I want to, like I said, in this series, I've always, I've always said that I want to keep this series, um, I want to do things in a manageable kind of way, and not too grand of a scale, because I just don't have the time to put into making the greatest scale of uh, builds, and so I want to find the most efficient way that I can make what I need whenever I need it, so... Right now, the most efficient thing that I have is just punching these Endermen with a sword. So I can just repair the sword, and that'll, that'll be the end of it. Um, that's obviously not going to work long term, because I will run out of swords, and it just takes forever. Um, but for right now, it's okay. You can see I've already got eight um, pearls. So... Um, yeah, I don't really have much, actually, that I wanted to do in this episode. I just kind of wanted to do a little talking, and, uh, where's that another Enderman? He's probably on top. I just wanted to do a little talking and kind of chat with you guys for a little bit. Um, I just put out a vlog, first vlog episode ever, uh, recently. I uh, appreciate you guys watching that. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, I've never done a vlog before, and so it was really, really different for me to do, um, an actual on-camera video. I haven't done one of those, like I said before. And so uh, I really appreciate the support you guys showed um, me during that video. And, uh, you know, it really means a lot, guys. So I'm going to keep bringing those um, probably, I don't know, once a week or a couple, of two or three a month. We'll do something like that. Um, they're not they're not hard to make. They just, uh, like anything else, it just takes a little bit of time to put into it. Fortunately, though, it doesn't take as much time as a full episode of, of like, Surviving Minecraft or Feed the Beast even. Um, like those Feed the Beast episodes, they take forever for me to do. Just because most of the time that I spend in that game is spent uh, researching and crafting. Um, and sometimes that's just kind of boring to put on camera. So it takes a lot of sessions, recording sessions, to get a full episode of Feed the Beast out. So, you know, you understand 
why sometimes it just takes a little bit longer to get those episodes out. I would I wish I could put them out every day, but you know, I don't do this for a living. I just do this for fun really at this point and so I have to I still have to hold a 9 to 5 job and uh still have a family to be with and this is really just a spare time kind of thing and so you know, I don't, I know I talk about my family just a little bit. I'd like to start talking about them a little bit more just to so you guys know what's going on with uh with everything like that. Um if you don't know, I've got uh, I'm married. I've been married almost fi- almost five years now. It'll be five years coming up in the fall. And I have two kids: um, a son, one son, and one daughter. Uh, my son is almost three, and my daughter is one, a little over one and a half. So they're pretty young, and pretty close together. And let me tell you guys, they are a huge handful, but they are awesome. Kids are the greatest thing ever. Um, so much energy, and it's it's the greatest feeling in the world when your kids just shout your name and greet you whenever you come home from work at the end of the day. It's it's really the coolest thing ever. Um, so, anyways, we are uh, we're gonna be going out of town here recent or coming up soon. My uh, my wife's cousin's getting married, and she lives in a different state from where we live. So we're gonna have to be doing some off road or road tripping with the with the family. And uh, you guys may or may, know, may or may not know, but road tripping with two toddlers is uh, really um, interesting, I will say, maybe taxing or tiresome. <laughs> um, it's going to be like a nine, eight or nine hour drive probably from where we're going or to where we're going. So it's going to really, ugh, I'm going to need lots of Coke or something, maybe some chips, lots of snacks. So anyways, that's kind of where we're at. Um, not a whole lot other than that, just the really the daily grind, going to work. Um, really enjoying the time on the CobbleCon server. Um, I don't know if it's still going on by the time I put this video out, but um, anyways, I've really enjoyed my time there. Um, really met some great guys. Um, hope to keep those relationships going even after the CobbleCon event, um, and I'm sure I will. I, I, it's just kind of the nature of things. You meet new people and you just hang out and it's a lot of fun to meet these guys. Um, normally, the only kind of video game connecting that I do with people is, or used to be, through just you know Xbox or Call of Duty or whatever, like that. But uh, Minecraft is really a great, a great place to meet new, um, new people and uh, connect with other gamers that uh, kind of love the same thing that you love. So, um, yeah, if you guys if you guys aren't involved in uh, any kind of multiplayer server or uh, you know, a community at all with uh, other Minecrafters, I recommend, I definitely suggest you find a server, find some guys that, that uh, are about, if you do YouTube, find a relatively about the same size channel as you. Um, it's just a huge and very fun thing to do to meet and hang out with other people that do the same kind of thing that you do and are, and are about in the same situation as you as far as channel size and uh, experience with the game, experience with YouTube, different things like that. Um, it's it's really, I gotta say guys, I am enjoying the crap out of my time making these videos. It's It's been so much fun. Um, I don't want to stop. Oh gosh. I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. Um, you know, one day maybe I'll be a, a big YouTuber with, you know, a bunch of subscribers or something like that, and I'll be a partner at Machinima or the Gaming Network or, or wherever, but even if I'm not, I'm still just having fun making these videos, and that's that's really the main thing that I care about right now is uh, just, just having fun. Um, if I didn't have fun, I wouldn't be making these videos, I promise. <laughs> so, my wife, uh, my wife thinks I sometimes love these videos more than I love her, but uh, I promise that's not true. Wifey poo, I love you. Um, I don't know if she's gonna watch this or not, but if she does, gotta cover myself. Um, guys, I'm sorry. I do say um a lot. I'm gonna try and stop stop doing that. I normally uh, don't do that in my working environment. If you don't know, I, I work in a software engineering company, and we put the the ratings and reviews on retailers and brands' websites. And so, I'm talking with clients all day, most of the days, um, through either through email or on the phone. And so, I usually I'm working very hard to, on my speaking skills, and so um, trying to get away from saying um a lot and just being more, uh, what do you call it, 
what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Being more authoritative with how I speak and sounding more confident and uh, just being a better speaker in, in general like that. Oh, Lord. Terrible lag. I went down to like five frames right there. That was awful. So you guys might be wondering what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of just uh, chatting. Like I said, I just wanted to do a chatty episode. I haven't done the last talk, really talky episode, I think was like episode 10, maybe, or 11, something like that. And we're up to 19 now, I think. So I wanted to just take a few minutes, chat with you guys, kind of just, not not necessarily vent, but just, just talk, just talk with you guys. I didn't really have much that I wanted to build today. We can do some building in the next episode, probably. We're going to do um, like a a farms buildings where we have, I think Etho put out a good tutorial where you have a mini miniature farm where you can get wheat, carrots, potatoes, and uh, cocoa beans all from one block. It's very similar to the uh, setup that I did in my last season in the last world um, that I got from Generic B, but this one's going to be more for 1.5, so it'll have uh, like an automatic, well you'll see, it's, it's an automatic piston thing that kind of push jumps up and down. I think Slip did something similar to it um, in his world. But basically you just stand on a block like this and then this block right here would be going up and down, up and down and you just it's shooting bone meal at it if there's something there and so you you right click and you plant your food and it will uh, harvest it and grow it because of the, the droppers dropping the bone meal onto the, the food. But we'll see. We'll we'll tackle that probably in the next episode or, or maybe the one after that. We'll see. Should be fun though. I'm gonna build a nice building around it too. I'm really uh really liking these buildings that I've been able to put together. Um and if you don't know, the buildings that I build, they're not completely, you know, inspired one hundred percent by me. I always look around YouTube, find other people that are actual architects that are really good at this stuff and then just kinda take their style and make something similar along the same look and feel. And so the guy that I've been following um, as far as buildings is concerned, because I really like the medieval rustic look and feel, is a guy named Gundahar. And I believe he's... Gundahar, I apologize if you're not, but I think he's German. Um, I think so. I don't want to get in trouble with Gundahar. I apologize, Gundahar, if you're not German, but I know you're not English. I know you're not American. So um, I really appreciate all the videos that he puts out. Got, he has some great um, designs for buildings that he puts in all of his videos. I think that's all that he does is puts out um, building videos where he just builds different things. So I'll have a link to his video in, or his channel in the description below. You guys should really check him out. Um, tell him I sent you. It's all, it'll help out his channel a lot. He's got, like I said, he's got he's a great guy. He's got a lot of really good building style um in Minecraft, and he's a uh, he deserves he deserves more subs for sure. So um, I'm kind of just rambling right now, to be honest. I don't really have much to say more than what I've already said. Um, what do we have now as far as pearls go? Let's see, a couple stacks, two and a half. Well, I think I'm gonna wrap up here, guys. I'm gonna pull another stack or two or three of pearls. And then uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this put this video to rest. But uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been pretty, I think, a pretty short episode, but it's been just a talky episode, and I really like doing every now and then just taking the time to just talk, um, you know, real life uh, updates, do things like that, just kind of let you guys know what's going on, keep you guys involved in the loop, um, just really basic things like that. Um, doesn't always have to be building a massive redstone building or you know something crazy like that but uh, anyways I appreciate you guys watching uh, leave a comment or a like if you if you enjoyed this video I'll try and bring you more like this uh, throughout the series I don't want to do everything like this but sometimes this is good for just reflection and, and kind of taking a step back and, and just um, surveying the the scene as it were the scene being uh, you know my, my time here on YouTube and my, my experience thus far. So, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to finish killing these guys and I'll see you guys in the next episode.